Now this part says graph the cylindrical coordinates. So we found the coordinates in the last video, and that's this A, B, and C here. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to graph them. And then you can really see how these actually graph. So when I look at this A here, I have this 2 pi thirds and then 2 for my Z. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at that pi thirds first. And think about it this way. This is our positive x-axis, just like if we were two-dimensional. So that's where my angle zero would be. And then from there, I would go around in this direction because that's towards the positive y direction. And that's generally what we do when we're going polar. So in essence, this is no different than polar here, except we're adding a z-coordinate. So if I'm going to go pi thirds, if I went all the way around here, that would be pi. So pi thirds would be a third of that path. So it would probably come out about here. And then two pi thirds would probably be there. And then three pi thirds would be at pi. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Maybe a little bit further in a little bit. So, so we'll say this is pi thirds. And then what we do is we're going to go two out from there. So from there, we're going to go one, two. And then for Z, we're going to go up to. So from there, we're going to go up to. So now to plot the Z here, we're going to create that box again. So there's my two, so it runs this way. And so just kind of and we're just going to continue to box it in. We're going to go right up from that point that we created with that radius of 2 there. And our point's going to be here. So now let's take a look at point B here. Now B says it's going to be 3 pi fourths. So that means I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go 3 quarters of the way to pi. So if you think about that, it's actually going to be right between... Uh, this 90 degree angle in the back here it's going to be right between it's going to split it right in half and that's going to be three pi fours and from this we're going to go four out so there's one there's two there's three there's four so it's going to be about there where my x and y not my x and y but my r and theta go out and then this one's going to go actually four high. So again, we just build another box to kind of see the height of this thing with this perspective with the angles included. So I start coming out from the Z at the four. And then I'm going to start from the four out on the radius. I'm coming back to the Y axis. Now I'm going to start going down to that. And then I'm going to go up towards where this is going to be. And I bring up the radius there, and my point's going to be there. And that's going to be B. Now let's take a look at that third one there. This one's going to be 7 pi fours. So now I'm going to start at the 0 again, which is the x-axis. And I'm going to take it 7 pi fours. 8 pi fours would actually be 2 pi. So this one's going to go around this way. And keep in mind, it's going to split this side right in half on this angle over here. This 90 degree angle is going to be split in half here because that's going to be 7 pi force. Because 8 pi force would take it to 2 pi. And that would be 7 pi force. And now we're supposed to go 3 square root of 2 out from there. And that's about... 4.24, so almost four and a quarter. So there's one, oh, it's a little long. There's one, there's two, there's three, 
and there's four. I'm going to have to put five on there. And it's going to be a quarter of the way, so it'll be about there. Oops. It'll be about there. That's going to be our how far our point goes out on the radius. And then we have to go up seven. So we'll start coming out on the seven on Z. And then we'll start coming in from the radius from two square to three. And then we're going to start bringing that down so we can create this box again. And I'll bring that uh, over and I'll bring the piece up and our point should be here. So this will be point C. So, so hopefully you see how to graph now. Um, just how this uh, cylindrical coordinates work. Really, it's just polar with the Z attached. That's all it really is. So hopefully that's okay with you now. Now we're going to move on to cylindrical.